What up guys, today we're diving into the detailed comparison of two follow focus systems that are shaking up the market. The Tilt Anuclears Nano 2 priced at 300 bucks and the Smorig Follow Focus Lite coming at 170 bucks. Now, these two systems are built for slightly different type of creators, whether you're working with high-end cinema lenses or rocking a lightweight mirrorless setup, there's something here for everyone. So stick around because we're breaking it all down. What's in the box, build quality, features, motors, and most importantly, how they perform in real life scenarios. So let's get started. First up, the Tilt Anuclews Nano 2 that we got right here. And when you open the box, you're gonna find inside this hard pouch. So we've got a Type-C to Type-C cable right here so you can power up the motor. We got a motor, obviously. The controller that has a nice OLED display right here, we're gonna come back in a minute. And if you flip this right here, we're gonna find some more accessories, an Allen key to tighten this little bracket that comes with a 15 millimeter rod so you can mount the motor to your cage or to your rig. And a follow focus ring for your lens. If you don't have a cinema lens, you can just strap this onto your normal lens and it's gonna work. It's a complete package, the build quality is outstanding and Tilta clearly paid attention to details. Now, let's talk about the Smorig one that comes in this plastic case right here. It's still her plastic, but it's a little more minimalistic. It's not the premium vibe that we got on Tilta, but still does the job and it's a little bit more compact. As you can see, it's smaller, so it's more convenient when you travel and when you don't want to bring a lot of gear with you. Well, inside you get the same things, but more compact. We've got the controller right here. We've got the focus motor, the Allen key, the mounting bracket, the 15 millimeter rod that it's a bit longer than the Tiltas one, the Type-C to Type-C cable to power up the focus motor, and the follow focus ring for your lens also if you don't have a cinema lens so basically the kits are the same the content is the same but just different brand different quality and different look next let's talk about the design and the build quality because this is where the nano 2 really stands out this thing feels like a premium piece of kit the controller is made out of solid metal and it has a sleek oled touch screen display so the screen isn't just for looks it gives you the real-time infos like focus points motor settings and battery lift and yes it's touch sensitive so you can adjust everything with just one tap that's extremely extremely cool smorik takes a different approach the control is more minimalist lighter and made out of high quality plastic but it's not as rugged as the tilta so it's still sturdy enough for most setups. One standout feature is the white focus wheel, which helps you set up the marks for your focus point manually. You can use a marker or stickers or anything old school. It's got an old school charm that a lot of filmmakers will appreciate. And another difference is the mounting point, because the Smorlik Follow Focus Light Control has a quarter inch thread on the back, which is great for versatility, but there's a catch. It doesn't come with a mount in the box. That means you'll need to buy an extra piece of gear to attach it on your rig. The Tilta Nano 2 controller comes with a NATO quick release mount included, which makes it super easy to snap on and off your rig. No extra shopping, no extra hassle, it's ready to go straight out of the box. Another design difference is in the small details. On the Tilta Nano 2, the screw for the 15mm rod mount is designed to stay in place, even when you twist it and shake it. It's a small thing, but makes the setup so much easier. On the small rig light, the screw for the rod tends to fall off when you twist it, flip it and you move it around, which can be frustrating during setup and losing screws is a thing we all do and hate. The small rig light control has fixed start and finish point. It's simple, effective and great for most basic focus pulling needs. But the Tilta Nano 2 takes it a step further. It can also have fixed start and finish points, but with a flick of a button, you can switch it to an infinite turn mode. This is a game changer for certain setups when you need continuous focus adjustments without limits. Now for the motors, because these little powerhouses make all the magic happen. The Tilta Nano 2's motor is compact, powerful and built to handle heavier cine setups. Whether you're using a beefy cinema rig or a standard lens, this motor doesn't break a sweat. It's smooth, reliable and precise, ideal for professional shooting. 
The small rig model is also compact and delivers solid performance. It's great for lighter setups like mirrorless cameras or gimbals because both motors mount easily and calibrate quickly. Although I had some issues with the small rig one while calibrating because it won't stop when reaching the end point. I had to manually just grab this wheel and tell it to stop like this is the end point. You can just turn back and yeah, it would just force the mount and the lens and it would just like go there and not stop. I don't know if I did something wrong or it's an issue on this one, but I just struggled with that and I just wanted you to know. Let's get into the fun stuff with focus points and power. With the Tilta Nano 2, you get digital A to B points. This means you can set two focus points and the system will pull focus between them smoothly and precisely. It's perfect for complex shots where precision is key. The small rig follow focus light takes a more manual approach. You can mark your focus points directly on the white wheel right here using a dry ease marker or even a piece of tape. It's simple, reliable and gets the job done. No bells and whistles, but sometimes that's all you need. Power-wise, both systems use built-in rechargeable batteries that can charge via USB Type-C. Both batteries last through a full day of shooting and even support speedy fast charging so you can quickly top it up on set if you run out of juice. Alright, but how do they actually perform in real world? The Tilt Nucleus Nano 2 shines in control environments. The OLED screen, digital focus points and powerful motor make it a dream for a professional setup. If you're working with heavy cine lenses or need precision for repeatable focus Focus pulls the Nano 2 is hard to beat. The small rig follow focus light is perfect for lightweight rigs and fast paced shoots. It's compact, intuitive and less intimidating if you're new to follow focus system. It's also a great option for gimbals or handheld shootings where every gram counts. And now let's break it down. The Tilt Nucleus Nano 2 is priced at 300 bucks and for that you're getting premium features like a touchscreen display, digital A to B points and a motor that can handle the heaviest lenses. It's built for filmmakers who want advanced tools and don't mind spending a bit more. The Smorik Follow Focus Light, it's light and it costs 170 bucks, offering fantastic value for the price. It's simple, effective and perfect for creators who don't need a lot of extra features. So which one's for you? If you love precision, customization and the latest tech, go for the Nano 2. But if you're looking for something lightweight, budget friendly and easy to use, the Smorik is still a great choice. Personally, I lean toward the Nano 2 for its advanced feature and sleek design. It just feels more professional and I just love the display. You know, the touchscreen stuff, it got me. Let me know in the comments which one would you choose. Or if you tested both, share your experience with us so maybe you found something that I didn't notice. I love to hear your thoughts. So, so that's it for today's comparison. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss the next gear review. Thanks for watching and as always, be creative and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.